and a pitch. That one inside. Oh, so we're off and running in game one. Good eye right oh. there. Two balls, no strike. That clips the corner. Two balls, no strike. Swing and a miss as he was late. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next That's pitch misses inside, and the count's full. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. The hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Brandon Bell in the box now. No balls and a strike. Brandon Bell, who grew up in Texas, played his college ball at the University of Texas, and then went on to win World Series with the Giants in 2012 and 2014. They called him the captain for a couple of years. Yeah, and I remember Bruce Bochy talking about Brandon Bell when he was just coming up to the big leagues and said he was a left-handed Buster Posey. Next pitch misses, and it's 2-1. Throw to first, and Springer's in there safely. Springer gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Not in time. He's safe. And it's 1-0. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Runner leads away at second. That's in there, and it's nothing in two. I think it's huge that they were able to score right away. You're playing on the road. Stakes are high. Energy in the ballpark, and you help to quiet that down a little bit. Next one just misses. It's two and two. It's a good take. Next one misses, and that's ball three. The pitch. And that's ball four. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. Bo Bichette up to the dish. In there, and it's all in one. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not. Caught him looking for the K. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. That misses. Ball one. pitch fouled off he was late ball to strike the pitch and that's it for a strike one out runners at first and second got him back to back strikeouts and yeah, the batter now Alejandro Kirk That pitch gets the inside corner. Strike one. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Pitch misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Just off the inside edge. 
And now filled up. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And here it comes. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Makes the grab on the run. And that'll do it. And now for the Twins, number 47. The second baseman, Edward Julian. And a pitch. Tap of the zone, and it's called a strike. Gosman, a former All Star. He features a four seam fastball, a splitter, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Next offering is in for a strike. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Next pitch is downstairs. That one missed. Okay. And the righty deals. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Oh, very close with the location right there. It's just tough to get rewarded on the call with pitches near the top of the strike zone. Cal Farmer up to the plate now. On the ground. And it goes just foul. Gossman throws over, and he just got his hand in there. Nobody out. Runner at first. And it's even up. And that one a little bit high. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it, still try to get that ground ball double play. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Here's Royce Lewis. Pitch out, but no action. The pitch. And now oh. two and nothing is that one missed below the knees. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely no, that, hard that, that, right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for Three a double play. The pitch. That Good. one finds the zone. That's strike one. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate, stay out of that double play. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. 3-2. Struck him out looking. Fastball at the letters, frozen for strike three. Max Kepler at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Runner on the goal. Oh, and two now. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. And he held up. Back at target field, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Kevin Kiermeyer. The wind of the pitch. On the corner for a strike. Oh one. Close, but called a ball. One ball, one strike. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. 
Nice grab on the run. And there's one away. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. That one fouled off. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And that one is lifted in the air. Wellner pulls it down, and there's two gone. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Pitch misses inside, and it's one to no. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Lopez checks over to first, and he's back. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Ball one, no strikes. Chris, one of the things that's really cool about George Springer's story is what he has overcome. As a kid, he had a lot of anxiety, and he had a stutter, and he's a guy now that speaks publicly and does so marvelously and is a great spokesperson for young people who struggle with stuttering. Yeah, the Stuttering Association for the Young, SAY is the acronym, and George Springer doing a great job representing that organization. Right side, and that chance handled. On to first. That takes care of Springer. And that is that. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's Alex Kirilov. The first base. Kevin Gosman hails from Colorado, but he played his college ball at LSU. He was the fourth overall pick in the 2012 draft. Made his debut at 22 years old in 2013, and he has gotten himself through a lot. That one missing inside. Yeah, and coming through the minor leagues, he was expected to be the number one starter for the Baltimore Orioles. It never quite lived up to that billing, but continued to fight, ups and downs, persevered, and after two free agent deals, he finally became an all-star. Jack Swing went around. Two and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. Left-hand batter waits. Sneaks through, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And here comes Carlos Correa. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kirilov aboard here at first with nobody out. Righty delivers. And a count one and two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Feed to second. That's one. Back to first. Double play. 3-6-3, nicely done. Well, he made his pitch down in the zone. He got that ball on the ground. The double play he was looking for. Really good execution. Ryan Jeffers in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. And that is in for a strike. And it's 0-2. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location right of this there. next pitch is going to be. And a ball Here evens the count.
Two down, nobody on. Got it by him for the K. Back in Minnesota, new inning getting started. Now it's the DH, Brandon Bell. The right-hander back to work. Bell goes six feet, three inches, 230 pounds, and he was a fifth-round pick back in 2009. That's the ball. Next offering misses, now 2-0. Oh. Fastball gets the inside corner at the knees. Next offering is fouled back. The line to kick the pitch. Let's Struck go. him out looking. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. He reached out a walk his first time. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., he's made that proud so far in his career. Multiple all-star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back when, 1999, when his dad was playing for the Expos. Yeah, and so much violence with that swing. Exit velocity is charged and very fun to watch. More play discipline than dad. Going to count one and two. Singy, so how about this, though? A little more than 400 games into his career, Vlad Jr. had the exact homer total and OBP as his dad. Next offering upstairs. Down, base is empty. Just oh. misses with that one. Full count. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Puts it away for the out. Two outs, base is empty. Bull Bichette will hit next. Struck out looking and his first at bat. And that's outside. Oh, so two balls down, and no strikes. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Two balls, one strike. Out to short, Correa. Tosses to first. And that is that. Welcome back as we go to the last of the third. And now for the Twins, Matt Walmer. And a pitch. Walmer in his rookie season, 25 years old, and he's usually in right today starting in left. Strike two. Well, if I was to break it down and make it simple, I would say right field's kind of a chill spot compared to left field. Left field's that second hot corner, in my opinion. Kicks and fires. Oh. Now all leave it up. On the ground to third, Chapman. Throws to first. Lead-off hitter gone in the third. Good fade and sinking Back action of that changeup. Got that hitter roll over. Michael. Michael. Hey. Softly hit the third. Throws across the diamond. And a couple of quick outs. Number 47, the next twin up to hit. Let off the bottom of the first with a walk. Julian. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. The next pitch that misses, is, 1 and 1. One ball, one strike. And he deals. And a strike in there. The other way. Oh, look at the stop. Fires to first. And very nicely done for the out. Out of the fourth. And now for the Jays. Kevin Biggio. 
Lopez back to work. And a good fastball to start him off. That's no strike ball. one. one strike. And a swing and a miss. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. And oh. now one and two. That one misses in the dirt. And the right-hander deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Here comes a pitch. In the air, out towards right center. And they get Biggio for the out. One up, one down. And here's the catcher, Alejandro no, Kirk. No, no, no. He's yeah, 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off. Chris Alejandro Kirk, stocky catcher, an all star in 2022. This guy could hit. Yeah, he can, and really just surprised everyone coming onto the scene, doing such a great job that became an all star with very little big league experience before that. And it finds its way through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Now, the center. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. 0 for 1 with a fly out. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Righty to the plate. There's a strike. Kirk at first, one gone. Next pitch downstairs, ball one. Got him. Two down. Now it's Matt Chapman, 0 for 1 so far. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 and 1. Ball strike one is so critical in a bat like this with a real threat at the plate looking to do damage. In the air, left field. Walner under it. Brings it in. And that is the third out of the inning. Bottom four. And now for the Twins, Kyle Farmer. The third baseman, Kyle Farmer. And a pitch. And there's a ball. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. The next nope. offering misses. Oh. Two and one. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Varsho moving under it. One away. And next for Minnesota, Royce Lewis. Caught looking his first time up. That's in for a strike. pitch just misses oh. the mark outside the zone his understanding of the strike zone very impressive that was a very close 0-2 fastball I just don't know how you take that pitch misses outside two balls two strikes and here it comes and that one is inside. Got him looking. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Now batting Max Kepler. His first hit bat was a strikeout. Kepler.
swing and a ball lined out towards center and makes the play and that's out number three. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now the left fielder, Dalton Varsho. The pitch. Going one. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And now it's even up. Pitch. Struck him out without a swing. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. And the batter is George Springer. Chris George Springer, a Connecticut native, in fact, played his college ball at UConn. First round pick by the Astros in 2011. And he helped lead the Astros to the World Series in 2017. And now two and one. Yeah, just a tremendous athlete. And his signing was the turning point in the Houston Astros organization to become a winning franchise. And you remember that magazine cover back in 2014 predicting the Astros to win the World Series in 2017. And it came true. Off the mark there. And it's a full count. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Up to the plate, it's Brandon Belt. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. Pitch is in for a strike. It's 0-1. This batter has to understand his job is to get on base however he can. If he gets hit by a pitch, if he walks, maybe even singles. But you want to get the heart of the order up to the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And here's the first baseman, Alex Kirilov. The pitch. That clips the corner. Next pitch misses, and that is ball one. Kicks and deals. Fouled off to the right. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Here's Carlos Correa. He hit into a double play his first time up. And that's outside and that's ball one the offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter he's doing his thing out there they're gonna have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder and he punches one right back up the middle that's what he does great contact so they get a man aboard with a one out single Brian Jeffers at the plate yeah that's in there for strike one Right-hander kicks, deals. Check swing, went around, and it's 0-2. And that one missing low. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And the righty deals. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. Way to lay off that pitch down. 3-2 now. On this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Bo. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. 
Matt Walmer, the next twin up to hit, grounded out his first time. That's in there. One one. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue finish off this hitter. Next one is off the plate. And one and one. One and one. Lifted in the air right center field. Kiermaier makes the play. Runner tags up for third. And he moves up the base. So two away with runners at the corners. Now that the center field. Michael A. Haley. Taylor swings through it for strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. The 1-1. Good eye in that spot. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Can't glove it cleanly. But in time, nice job to stay with it to end the inning. And welcome back. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The first base Vladimir Guerrero Lopez back to work. And there's a strike. Vladdy, 24 years old, and he's a former gold glover in the American League. Ball one low. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Jeffers makes the catch, one down. So up now next for Toronto, Bo Bichette. Bo Bichette, second round pick, 2016, and a kid who comes from pretty good baseball family. His dad, Dante, played for California, Milwaukee, Colorado, Cincinnati, and Boston over 14 big league seasons, and Dante could swing it. Yeah, and you just get the sense in watching Bo that this guy, all he wants to do is win. A gamer goes hard and wants to lead that ball club to a championship. Biggio stands in now and watches strike one. And he flips a breaking ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. The wind of the pitch. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning, lead and here's off. the Twins leadoff guy, number 47. With the right hitter back to work. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And a foul ball, he stays alive. He goes down looking. Now, here is Kyle Farmer. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. One and oh. One and oh. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now Royce Lewis. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And he hits a ground ball right side. Oh, he gloves it to second for one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. K-1. 
Kepler in the box again takes a strike. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving through a walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Right side, and that is Springer. And puts the squeeze on that. That. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Griffin Jacks. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. And now the catcher comes up to hit. Alejandro Kirk, one for two. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. That one in there across the letters. Up the middle. Oh, wow. nice play to first. And that's a great play for the out. Here's Kiermaier now. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. foul ball so how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it it's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat he thinks this ball is going to get down because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart and that's the strikeout looking not sure about that call pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three here's Matt Chapman Pitch misses there. Ball one. Way high. Well, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. There's the strike at the knees. And it's 2-1. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Next one misses. Now 3-1. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Back at target field, set for the last half of the seventh. Digging in, Alex Kirilov. And the pitch. In for a strike. Going along. Ball one there. The tying run at the plate. Slapped foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. A little bit high. Two balls, two strikes. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And that one lifted in the air center field. Kiermaier hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. Now Correa up to hit. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. There's a strike. Strike two. Now just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. The 2 Good eye oh. right there. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Battling here as he fouls it away. Kicks and fires. And a swing and a miss. Two away. Now Ryan Jeffers, the next oh, yeah, twin yeah. up to hit. Jeffers. 
first pitch and he just misses. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. The 1 1. Hard ground ball, base down. Two outs, runner at first. So up next for Minnesota, Matt Walmer. First offering, misses the mark. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. And there's the strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. That one not close. Two and one. Left hand batter waits. Slap the other way. Foul. Jeffers leads off first with two down to the inning. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. Yes, he did. Down he goes out. So they bring on the veteran, Caleb Thielbar. Bring it in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here. So we'll see how it works out. And here is Dalton Varsho. No surprised. You don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty-lefty matchup. And he deals. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Yeah, a big swing and a miss. Not even close there. It's a ball and two strikes. And that just misses. He missed the zone, but I don't think he missed his spot. That was a good pitch with two strikes. Got him looking for the strikeout. Flipped the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. So the lineup flips over. Here's George Springer. First pitch doesn't find the zone. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. And a 1-1. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Here comes a pitch. Next offering misses down and away. Got him looking for the K. Brandon Bell next up for the Blue Jays. One for three. First offering, and it just misses. And fouled off. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. You got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field now. So now one and two. Just off the inside edge. Two balls, two strikes. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. And he is down on. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Jimmy Garcia. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And a pitch. Taylor, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one.
Now this is in the air down the line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. And that skips into dirt. In the air, right field. And there's one down. So the batting order turns over. And next for Minnesota, number 47. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. In there for strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Pitches in there. No balls, two strikes. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Next pitch is inside, and a count one and two. That's a really good take. That one down the line and foul ball. Righty delivers. Checks his swing. Now it appeal to third. No swing. Just held it back there. And a pitch. That one is upstairs. Ooh, I thought he'd bite right there. We'll see another payoff pitch. And here it comes. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Here's the third baseman, Kyle Farmer. There's a strike. That one's in there. And it's nothing in two. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. Two outs. One, two. Two balls, That's two ball. strikes to count with two outs. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Right-handed reliever. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. And the right-hander deals, and he walked him. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. New pitcher now for the Jays, Jordan Hicks. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Runner at first with two away. And next is the designated hitter, Royce Lewis. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. 
Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Farmer up into scoring position now with two out on the pass ball. And the 1-0. That one drifts inside. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. At the belt and fires. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. So now two on and two outs. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Next pitch is outside. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. The one-two. Good eye right there. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Two on, two outs. Swing and a ground ball. Biggio in plenty of time to first. That ends. Jorge Alcala gets the ball now. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Well, one run game. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now at the plate. There's a strike. Alcala, in his fourth year, he features a slider, a four seamer, a changeup, and he works in a sinker. And ball one. And strike two. Ground ball up the middle. Tosses to first. And Guerrero is set down. Here's the shortstop at the play. Bo Bichette. And there's a foul ball. Now a screamer into the outfield. Tracks it down for the out. And there's two down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Biggio in the box now. No balls and a strike. Knocks it down. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Now it's Jordan Romano out of the bullpen. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And now the first baseman, Alex Kirilov. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. The pitch. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Varsho makes the catch and there's one gone. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. 
And that one fouled off. Power relievers one after another coming out of the bullpen these days. Got to be ready for that first pitch heater. Goal in one now. Just missed. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. The pitch. And the one two misses to even the count. In the dirt. Tosses to first. That takes care of Correa. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that jump. Fall off foul. You'll want and yeah. the slider catches the zone. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Next pitch just misses, and it's 1 and 2. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. So the Toronto Blue Jays take game one of this wild card series, a huge win for them.